you see every day. No, Thank you so much. Okay, G2 on the fence. 100 fees. Whoa. 100 fees on attack with a Yoru flash through the TP no one's to enable the swing. Though. Thieves are taking That's pretty cool. The time being, but it's and it looked like the TP didn't get this angle, so I guess it goes behind. Thieves is not looking to commit just yet. Spike left back in market, just hunting E2 defense, 100 fees attack, and 4v4, like they decide to go searching. Asuna has tanked some damage, out out damage as well. Angle and get a massive flank going over towards B. Bang going to re-clear, peeks into three, and goes down. G2, gain advantage, it'll be yeah, a good Nice, nice reactive B. push yeah, from them, honestly. It's 4v4 and they want to go proactive. They had no one over towards B, so they kind of had to with the 4-1 stack. Get over towards site, gun upgrades. Ever, Prowler, that is it. To retake, flash, knife, eye, molly, TP. Get active with it. The big engagement is going to come if 100 Thieves push back into CT now that the smoke yeah, I think the plan could have been better here, I'm not going to lie. Are they really going to let the fade of all the util swing fast? Ooh, that was nice, though. Take it back, I kind of liked it. What's the plan with the Teva? What's the plan? Prowler goes in. Ooh. Damn, lovely crossfire from them. Okay, I like that. So I wasn't liking the group up, but then one went over towards long. So I liked it a lot more. So then we actually had some kind of crossfire once they insta-reacted when they saw them here. They hit some nice shots as well. Lovely uh, 3v4. Who looked insane back on the jet last week. Now he's back in his smokes prison, but still finding the kills. And EU with the 3k. The last time nice cast. It is this, fine. Once, once the guy went over towards long, it got a lot better. And I think maybe they could have made a plan around to the Teva, but... And you got the shots, you got the shots. The bottom fragger in that series. The Are they handling this one? Is this triple rifle. They're allowed one death and maybe one person can hunt as well. We'll G2 see. Actually going for the massive stack again over towards this B site. Something that was very characteristic of oh. G2 uh, during their whole kickoff run was their willingness to play heavy side and then full retake. So, what we're going to kind of highlight well is when we have these comps, the e and this comp isn't as bad, but we'll still highlight it just to kind of prove a point. When you don't have like a, a sky with a dog. Or a Sova, a lot of the time it's good to just send someone in like the human drone and the majority of the time that's why people are buying ghosts on this to kind of scout out if it is a stack. So the fact they don't do this, do they get punished for it or are they cool? I mean, got a little bit risky, right? I still think this was a good example. Like, just throwing one person in there, just being able to react, TPing out when you see there's multiple here, can mean that you can save a lot more guns than that. So, lovely damage from G2. I'm not saying 100 Thieves need to throw that in there because they're still on the rounds, but it did get a little bit costly. G2 are going to want to play inside their smokes and then push into them. They wait out that dizzy timing, go for that fight on the pistol. With the amount of people that go down. We'd call this the well. We used to call this the NA buy, and looks like we're gonna go back to doing it. So no bonus rounds, just straight up buy rounds. So let's see how much. Uh, let's see how much we get from this. This hits off the sign and bounces into lamps, and it covers the corner over towards here. Oh. Oh. Damn, dude. Yeah, and the. Moments need to do damage. So Asuna here ends up looking like a little bit of a mentalist, but it wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Like the person over towards showers um, really just took the space instantly as soon as the mosh pit was gone, right? Like he's just instantly here ready for this. And if I'm like being hypercritical to 100 thieves, if they want to do this double satchel here, they got to show some kind of present showers. Because then, then the two will fight together, then you can properly pinch. That was like my main thing. Yeah, you saw in that retake, it was a combo of the haunt and that Yoru. Because I didn't think it was too bad, like sending this out, but you got to have someone dueling or making sound showers so that they can't insta clear the space that is now there. Or a breach done, <laughs> bro. They don't. <laughs> but they don't. They don't have a breach. <laughs> can't just change their whole comp. You can't, dude. You can't be looking at the game thinking should, should have had a breach here. That's like that's like me when they go over to site, being like, damn. 
Imagine they had a sage wall for this one. <laughs> like, bro, you can't, can't think like that. Got to look at what you're given. And they'll continue playing slow off of that for Hunter. Sounds like a skill issue. Leaf, though, takes his opportunity and finds one. G2 still have a lot of utility to fight back in with the flashes once I hear that tap. Hunter Thieves are waiting for the next cycle on this Viper Wall going down before it, at least faking a tap on this plant. Haunt over the back. Doesn't see too much. They fake it on It does three, leaf swing. Gone for the swing yet. Notice Trent's position Whoa. fully flashed up behind triple. And putting Dude, someone shoot the fade eye. Continues to dwindle away. This delay is ridiculous. G2 swing at the perfect times. Cut down for a double. Under Thieves will trade back, but they just can't get that plant under control. Trent's ahead of it. Um, okay, very nice from G2. I'm kind of convinced with the A hold after I've seen a lot of this. That looked nice. I would love, um, would love a hundred thieves to take some shower control. Not gonna be able to get a plant down here with what I'm seeing there. And G2 won't go for the hard stack on A, but they're not familiar with G2's game. Or take G2 deep map control. Like you either, we either take late showers or we do deeper smokes and take the same. So at the moment, this util and the angles and not having showers control means we can't get this plant down. Survivors rest. Your ult the first to come online here for G2. You can combo a lot of ideas with that one. It's gonna be a fight towards long though. Dizzy broken. Do they wanna pop through just a haunt? It's excellent. Asuna is down. That's a big player to lose early. Yeah, big buy games. round. They decide yeah, to go aggro. This was nice from G2. Comboing up some utility there, and 100 Thieves haven't been able to get any space anywhere on the map. Jonah P doing a great job of locking down a short. Okay, Cryo has a timing. It's a shame he's on a breach, uh, brim here. The and the breach is just in my head. You've got a knife shutting you down and no space to be had. The view is only. Gate, gate crash ready to go. Rotate over towards this B site. Breach stone. <laughs> That's the other beautiful thing yeah. about this. Yoda I mean, if it was a breach stone, it could have stunned players. earlier. So. Playing six players effectively, three on each side. Of the map. Um, do have retake all if they want to leave science, but they've been making it so hard to plant. If someone asked if I like this wall. I think this wall is good, dependent on the comp that you're playing against. Um, I was I was annoyed at this wall earlier when they were playing against um playing against G's two comp because it shouldn't be able to go B, so you want to reinforce B so you can free stack A. But in, in terms of this. Comp, yeah, I, I like this one. Great Does mean the B is slightly weak though. They might need to change up. No one's even past the start line. There's a lot of util to the back of site. Yeah, this is nice. And using the wall over towards A does mean that this can be a little bit harder to hold this site. Very nice. Down to one. It's like a weird thing where, I mean, I think this wall will eventually get changed to, to like this normal wall, but I think their game plan was to just shut down A heavy, and they did manage to do that with the first two Byrons. So they might have, that was very nice. Might have just had a good idea that 100 Thieves like to heavy lean over towards A for big Byrons. It was a really solid round, yeah. But it, the flood back in with this Viper will be a lot easier. They hit a lot of shots. The 4v5 that they managed to get over towards here. The util dump was sick. But yeah, it's, see like the wall there would normally cover all those angles so you can freely flood in. I reckon we see that change up at one point. This gecko gives so many yeah, we'll see when. It might have to do a timeout. But if I'm 100 thieves, seconds, and I see this wall over towards A, and I see no and wall over towards B, go and B every single time. Yeah, and fish goes down, but it takes some map control, which is kind of nice. So, first use of the fish ult, they take all the long control. And this is early uses of... I mean... Whoa! We won 120, and Balan has no smokes left. just flood retake off that utility. And you can combo things, right? Nightfall with icy popping out. No way, the timing on this. Oh, so no ahead of bang, I think. Yeah, because no one's looking behind. Out from showers. I mean, how how much does he get? Does he want to keep going? It feels like he's maybe leading a walk back over in the A site, so he doesn't want to keep hunting too far ahead. Yeah, he's just holding control so they can fall past the stack. Now, I always talk about this in terms of like winning the round from positioning and not trying to like win the round by going behind making the hero play. Him holding that means the full person stack and B here. Fake over towards A. Nope. Fake over towards B gets the fade all out of them. The problem is this Viper. Yeah, the Viper's going to hear the Gecko at one point. But they haven't cleared showers, so they might just think that he reactively pushed showers from them taking A. So that's why Bustio's on, on top of this. And that's very unlucky from Leaf. Now a lot harder to make this retake happen. Uh, the real fiery immortal. Thank you so much for the three months. 
C9 legit. Let's um, see some more games from them. They look way better than I thought. Big two on two. Now 2v2. Spike tapped for the first time. You decayed and they know that G2's off, but have to find it. Hey, Teva. They could. Whoa. Okay. Fade. Teva puts the guy close down to 1 HP. Goes for the confidence swing into the corner and somehow doesn't get killed on that last duel. Yeah, nicely done. I like the call on this one as well. I feel very sad for Leaf, man. He, he tried, tried his best. So very damn lucky. Yeah, this wide swing here. Damn, three bullets. <laughs> okay, money in the bin. Tell you what though, G2 need to win this kind of... Sorry, 100 feet thieves need to win this cleanly. That is not clean. I mean, the shot was clean, but not clean in terms of that econ. And look at this setup in Hookah. All five players are for that. Yeah, it's a hundred feet. It's a normal setup. We'll try and make this Ever. happen. Bang, Ooh. it sees the util is just so good from G2 to delay, but can they follow it up with a kill? Not quite. Wingman going in. And Wait, he's his covered. Done. He's actually getting the plant down. Oh, okay. Does it does get spammed over towards site, and the spike goes on top of the site. Didn't matter too much. Yeah, and they had the TP. And that is a mouse bug. Okay, clean in terms of four people staying alive. They, um, poor wings got cut down right the last second. But hundred thieves are showing some strength. Didn't want the plant, I guess. Didn't need the money. G two, now a chance to call a timeout. Still got that your ult to deal with. If they yeah, must have. And I do have to take him. Icy because he's been able to find a couple of three hundred for everyone. I think last week was not putting up the numbers that you'd necessarily want from him, but it was also his first time on the stage here with G two. Yeah, I remember the hype for this guy. We didn't see him in officials, but he was scrimming with EG Reserve, and people were talking about him dropping 30, dropping 40 in scrims. G2 saying the expectation is for him to be more of a team player, kind of meld in with Leaf being the second entry. But if he's having games like this, I mean, you need a guy like that to show up. Yeah, also, sorry, but I, I don't want a player that's just going to go get space. I feel like that's G2 propaganda. And really, this guy is going to be so been showers yet? No. a little bit of time, but I feel like they're just trying not to set These guys have got to wall over towards B, man. Him, right? It's His good propaganda. Are gonna be like, yeah, he's going to come out here and he's going to wall over towards B if you're G2. They're getting annihilated on B. And if he does more, that's amazing. And yeah. he'll probably evolve into it. I've got news. He's busting out the up in this round. Out of the timeout, that's going to be the call for him. Let's see. Let's the follow the Viper. To, to Yoru, as Where's Leaf to going? Uh oh. I think the a I mean, he could reliable. do the wall from here, I guess, but it's still not looking good. The wall goes in over towards him, and I'm, as soon as I see that over towards there, I'm going to be, man. They've won every single round over towards B because no wall. Quickly into this round. Change his mind. No operator. All that for nothing. No. Why do I even bother? First round where they want to go over towards showers, and it looks like they're doing their original A hit, but with the showers luck that I originally wanted from the, uh, oops. <laughs> that is a kill. Does he get into the corner and just hold heaven? I owned it, man. Owned it. Yeah, this was real nice. Lovely touch into this one in terms of like the whole, I mean, literally the whole of showers was just full with util. Brim all. This is a set strat that they have with Brim all, by the way. They've done it twice, so they need to be careful going forward in terms of people anting them. But Brim all. Then they have the molly over towards here. TP has to go out, raise all in case someone is running out. And then they just full sight. And we also got what we wanted to see. I got everything that I wanted to see, right? In terms of deep smokes and bit of shower pressure from the one player. That first dizzy cycle, then doubling back, throwing these late round fakes. And now they change up, go for a very classic 100 Thieves hard hit. And own. They absolutely do. One yeah, so in terms of winning the timeout battle, 100 Thieves really came out on top. Had some money for this one. 
Not looking so hot for the I like the smoke that they do on Heaven as well, I that it kind of leaks out here that he can have a safety. Like, this this is a this is really on the edge, and it gives him this whole angle, and I'm pretty sure his feet can't get seen from spawn. That's kind of nice. And then flooding out of smokes on the retake. They haven't been doing a lot of forward fighting. Apart from that round, they fought all the way down on and B long. back to and B because the wall is still going over somewhat, here. You would imagine so. I don't think that's really going to be the idea for G2 yet again. Viper's pit committed towards A. Yeah, all over towards A. And so we can see this heavy pressure, but they're waiting for a reaction this time. So long pressure, wait for some kind of reaction. And really want to work back into this they're going to try force their short. way through this. They do have the thrash. The one tool to really get you through that pit. Leaf's movement is going to be so important here, though, because he's got the judge, so he cannot Looks break thrash. Down. That's just not going to happen. So if he can somehow dodge out of his pit, get back into it, then he has a chance they here. They sure? Oh, man. Sometimes these scare me. How fast these rarely work out well. I think they Especially when you don't have the raise to follow it up, so everyone running through here is going to be 1 HP. Old committed and actually broken. I think a little bit of spam coming through there to help out Leaf. Yeah, He's now what? A corner. Avoids every piece of you tool thus far. Still spam coming in, but at this point, Hunter Thieves have no way to get through. 40 seconds, they're not going into B. They're grouping up over in showers now with four players. Maybe some late scouting from EU down on A short, and they can wait. They're not even going to have a second cycle of the thrash because it got shot down. For G2, this round is on Icy. A position, top truck, awesome. The Yoru's down. It's only Bro only took two shots there as well. The fade eye was really nice though. You see this fade eye through the roof that goes up here? That was really cool. You gotta give it to Asana, by the way. He is fearlessly. I mean, apart from like the third round, where I think that his team should have done more um, pressure over towards showers, like he's doing a good job of making space. There isn't too much util for him. But when I'm watching these kind of send it outs, it's literally yeah, just like one fade, G2 one fade eye, and he's got to go. It's he's making a, a lot of space. Remember how their, their two maps versus EG started off, by the way? They won all four pistols in their series. They won three out of the four bonus rounds they played. Like, G2 was running away with games from the start. This is the how does Icy get on top of truck? You, um, you can do it with your... I don't know if this is how he did it, probably, because otherwise it would be illegal, right? Um, you can do your... You do your uh, clone, and then you can put your clone. You can put your TP above the clone if it's going against the wall. Like you can get your, you can boost yourself on all of this with. Uh, Actually, maybe not this one. Maybe it's too high. You can boost yourself with. Uh, I'm seeing I with Yoru, I'm seeing you just have to invest the clone. Maybe look at a flash combo with a like when you're close to a clone, like this up to a wall, you can put the TP like above his head. Area. That's what they looked for. I see did spend that flash, but they didn't see anything. And now I think 100 Thieves might want to scale back into that space, right? They're grouping up to maybe work down into long here. Leaving Huka I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. And Definitely didn't pay off. That I see after throwing that flash has leaned over into this A side of the map. Yeah, and I think, I think they're just going to let the mech sack again. I would love to see like a switch up in terms of KO flashing before they get to exec here. The problem is, you, again, I would want the Viper wall so they can't see you getting close. Exec goes in. This time we have the molly and the smokes to stop. So Valen, probably the longest he's held onto his smokes, really, considering the time. They've been used so early. This is a big win, though. This is looking way better over towards B. Timing was a little bit off on this one, but Valen has wrecked everyone. Yeah, this was so nice. And it wasn't like the fade all into combo with Yoru, which maybe they wanted to do. It was more just making the most out of the fade or doing damage. Damage. Minus 80 to double people on site, and Valen, I'm telling you, just body shots them here. Yeah. Check the, check the fatal. Is this the... Check these next skills. Just all body shots, right? Yeah, that, they're just minus 80 instantly, so they don't know HP. It was a much better hold. They stopped the original hit, right, with the smokes down. And always winning out in those openers. So a bit of a break for G2. Still two left in the half. A chance to salvage this to a 5-7.
They showed this once before. <laughs> Fake clone that's actually and he's, he's running into the wall, into the so they hear the footsteps and they think out. it's a clone. That's pretty cool. Anti flash on this one. He does shoot though, so they know that he's there, so he gets out of here. Knife goes in, hits three. Yeah, we just sent a prowler down a short that saw absolutely nothing. So I think G2. Mini boo, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Hope everything's going well, man. Looking, looking real crisp out there, bro. Real crisp, man. It's impressive, dude. Keep it up. Jonah makes contact. And hundred thieves are just gonna walk up on this one. Dizzy. Extreme is good as well. Smoke. Icy is so blind. No, TP to get out of this one, but just in time, he arrives. Jonah still in the smoke though. Maybe wants to make another go with this one. Icy has a flash. Said Valen has. I was gonna say Valen has his ult, and he has a damn. That was a nice peak on top of this. Yeah. All on top. They gotta make the decision, and then we just instant just flash through. Everyone swings. This was a little bit like what I said. I wanted to see right a bit of aggro in this area. Seems they're grouping up so heavy here. Yeah, they've changed their mind. Thirty seconds going back into B. Uto ready for the re-exec. Pressure over towards here, then they're gonna TP. Let's check the uh, check the rotates. This is, this is doable. Yeah. Leaf has another Molly, which kind of sucks, but the bro can just get the plant. Yeah, and it's all up to Bang to cover him. Molly as well. He has a molly to play yeah, with. he was like, do I, I go back and pop the molly, then go around the world, or... The first tap now. Do I, I believe? Looking for half. He gets it to half. Another fake, and now the molly. That's a lot of time. Icy's got to go on the oh. offensive. But look at that. Cryo's backed all Ooh. the way out. The clock is moving. The clock is moving. And Cryo now back on the hunt. Icy looking. Damn. Pulls off. No, he can't go for the full stick. Cryo waits him out. Icy can't. <laughs> okay, nice to die. You should have it. The clock goes down. And yeah, Icy's yeah, easy. Got it. He wins the fight in just it was close. the nick of time. It was close. It was a good attempt, really. Considering the 3v4 that you came up with, a pretty good plan. Only a few That's seconds away. 4G2. But the rookie steps up. Having the game that people expected from this prospect. One enemy down remaining. And out. And that was a ridiculous round from 100 Thieves. Yeah. I, I think three or four times. Yeah, they kind of did great G2 to get it to the situation oh, anyway. Towards B, towards A. And honestly, G2, in these last few rounds, I think he's been handling it very well. And a big part of that is this Yoru and how 32. fast those rotates can come with the gate crash. Ice is coming in immediately. He can fight showers early. Get back over that B site quick. 100 Thieves, though, tempo change after these slow rounds, blitzing it over into the A site. No control of U-Haul just yet, and Icy gets the He is sending it with no Uto all the time. Fado goes in, taps two. Break on the haunt. Trent can't hear a thing, and that spike timer begins to tick. 3v4. On goes down. It's a nice Viper. This might be relatively hard. There's only one bit of Uto right now, though. How much can he do? Great angle there from Bustio. Evens out the odds and buys a bit more time to escape. Sorry. No. Trent at the last second catches him through the smoke. Tap on the spike. Spam coming in. Damn, nice he's done. So close to him and Valen knocks him down. He was seen over towards showers, right? Oh! Oh! Damn, he has a prowler as well. I'm gonna swing with it. So, so nice, bro. Fair play. Switching but sides. here with a hundred thieves, he bests G2. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on pistols, by the way. But... Pistol round and clutches it up at the end. The Red Bull clutch for EU. And it starts off looking great, right? Icy gets that first kill, but then all the gets the pandemonium of this Viper's pit. EU repositioning from showers where he'd previously been seen to short. And getting those two kills was gorgeous. G2. Yeah, as soon as he got hit by the prowler on shot on sight. Eight to four up for hundred thieves. <laughs> the shot from Trent for the now. box, yeah, Before it's not. The analyst desk. Thank you so much for that, Mimi and Ender. Wow, great start here for 100 Thieves. 8-4 total. Uh, and really, I think, you know, the, the big point that kind of stuck out to me throughout that entire first half, you got to talk about Bang and Busio. We kind of harped on Busio a little bit at the pre-show, Wyatt, but Bang also joining him. The output's been insane from both of these two.
Yeah, on, on that attack, Asuna was not really able to do much on a lot of the rounds. He was getting shut down. He was trying to get some of the space, but was just going down. And then it was Bang who was following up after that. And in a few crucial moments, was able to push forward, find a kill, and then give his team enough space to actually play off of off that. Last week, Bang was really struggling. He was needlessly dying a lot. He was struggling to hold areas of the map. And right now he's completely making up for that. He looks to be in sick form. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the same story for Bustio. It feels like last week might have been an off day for him. Normally you see him as like a really confident player, taking every fight you can get an opportunity for, and you see that in this first half. Uh, he's playing really well. Yeah, stats definitely speak for themselves. Bang had a lot of standout moments there as well. And I think if anything, what this goes to show is that Maple you, element, you, you can't judge a book by its cover here. And even though the, the cover was looking a little, a little tattered a bit wide, it does feel like at the very least 100 Thieves have found themselves, uh, you know, a good, good inroad here in this bind map. Yeah, for sure. They give, this team has given Bang a long time to try to like flourish. They have Shazam, yeah, it's, it's like kind of his first time on, uh, He's proven that he can be a legit on the desk. Player, but, but, you know, being at this level is what they need him get to him do takes to get a, wins like this. Takes well, we'll see if Hunter Thieves can close it out. Let's send it back over to your casters. Thanks very much to the desk. 100 Thieves, a great chance here. But G2, they were apt at those pistol rounds in the game oh boy. versus EG. Four for four. It's fast down short. Asuna satcheling forward. <laughs> Dude, they gotta, they gotta chill with these strats, man. The, they're feeding. The, the Asuna haters, they are feeding. Feeding him in terms of, like, giving him clips. The, fa the eye goes, like, the dizzy goes straight up. And it's, it's like only just him. And then we have one Dizzy that flies in the air. And it's not going to catch people close. It doesn't even look like he catch people deep. Like, I feel, I feel sorry for him. And, like, he's doing what he's been told to do a lot of the times. But it is, like, there isn't enough util behind this. I don't know if they'll orb max that much. There is a big flank coming here from Bang. And Leaf not watching the right angle turns. Oh, boy, it gets awkward. This can be better, right? Surely. The ceiling's too high to fade tether this, right? Never actually tried that. Thieves kind of shocked me coming out of that, playing so fast out the gate. But G2 did. Okay, one one in terms of pistol though. Like, yeah, the dizzy, the dizzy hits people, but if it doesn't hit anyone that's beyond this mark, you can't be doing that. Someone just W, someone just taps W from the barrier and. That is and he's just satcheling in. Fantastically for a round three here. High chance Valen has the ult on line for that round. Let's go. Come on, guys. Valen again top of the scoreboard. This guy's the IGL, but he can't do okay, it. Okay, double all. sheriff on defense. There's one of them. Double sheriff on defense. Yeah, that's a nice way to start the round off. Who did they get? Oh, the Yoru. It might be hard for them, for them to get through the choke points. Yeah, is Cryo just spamming that? He might just be spamming that, knowing that everyone has to run through the choke points anyway. Keep an eye on this fast flank from Bang. It's pretty fast, and he does have the Sheriff, and no one's really checking for him right now. Yeah, there's so much distraction on sight. Oh, close, man. Yeah, it all kind of came down to that, and he wanted to go fast, even though the smoke was going pretty soon. So, yeah. It was a 3v5 for them somehow? Yeah. Kind of looks scary there. Learn Never right. in doubt. Never in doubt. All the plan, because, uh, oh, Valen Valen. Ult now. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, unfortunately, for they actually bought pretty heavy into that round. A lot of SMGs, so it's one real gun on Icy. And then the ult. But what even is a real gun? They can all get it done. We saw it with Boostio. We saw it with Cryo. Good thing that, like, at least from 100 Thieves is prioritization of this wall over towards B because this comp, in theory, will try and count it. Let's see how many times this comp actually successfully gets to go B or even attempts to go B. I'm not talking like pivot from after A hit into B. I'm talking like actual original call to go B. Because this comp struggles to get B. It really all comes down to this stall at EU. I think just off the hop there. Finds a kill through the smoke onto Trenton. I see has no way to trade that one on out. It is a ah, look at them together. This is very nice. Look at them together and the prowlers. You gotta, you gotta shout out EU here. He dumped all of his util, but it was like really good. I think maybe the tether just missed by a little bit, but 
other than that, like everything else was enabled like kills. Under Thieves is read there, playing heavy backside. I think one of the things that G2 are going to be missing with a cop like this by not running the raise is you don't have the ability to dive up on top of that truck and fight into backside easily. No, you have to TP right in front of it, and that's where you play out the round. So then these fights into backside are a lot harder to win. Hunter Thieves can play heavy for gunfights, can play heavy volley denial on the plant, and sort of force G2 over into them. That's probably going to be a continual thing over towards A. With this Yoru as well, one thing it gives you is the ability to kind of send the player one side, fake out, apply more pressure than there is, um, and then immediately... Let's circle everyone that can by next round. Yeah, what that means right? is I see a look oh. for a pick over in showers. So we've got three people that can buy next round. Eight people that can't. He just snaps that TP, look at him. Already back over to exec into B. Molly's <laughs> traded both ways. Oh. Ooh. That Dizzy gonna be unrecoverable. Yeah, that's a good spot. Valen has the ultimate as well. Oh. How close is he gonna use that? Hundred Thieves, there is nowhere Damn, to Damn, that's how they give through it. Fair play, man. Finds two Bustio, stuck, tethered, yeah, and gonna be a little bit critical of a hundred thieves. So th this counts as a this counts as a B hit for sure. So one out of one in terms of B hit. I'm gonna be critical to, to uh hundred thieves here. I give I give what they wanted to do, they wanted to try and stop them from actually getting the orb right because the orb was the brim all. I think with this comp it's hard for them to get out the choke points. So instead of using your util here, the game plan should definitely be to use your util to like stall this. Because if the Yoru takes the TP and no one can follow it up, it's an easy, easy kill. So even though they do get this, wait, did they have the, they had the all anyway? Oh, okay. I mean, it's still, I still agree with the same stuff then. Like I still think, then then it's honestly a little bit worse from 100 feet in my books. Because it should always just be, this comp can't get over towards the site, so the Uto should be dumped in the choke point, not deep in the choke point. I think they can exec. I would be fine letting this comp exec, I'll be honest. It's, it's just stopping everyone else getting out. Definitely becoming possible here. Yeah, so far in America. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the exec is too strong. Right behind Lotus. Lotus like if this is how they're getting out through long, then kind of fine with it. Not so lopsided, but still, still something to keep track of in this. I think a lot of it is because I think a lot of our comp. Yeah, I didn't realize they already had it all. It makes it a little bit worse for 100 Thieves in terms of what I saw. Uh, this might be a good timeout. And maybe they're talking the, about what I said. On this map. No real Sentinels being played so after I'm seeing that, I'm like, that's a, a huge misplay in my mind. Every agent has some sort of mid -range piece of good news is the whole comp is great at uh, rolling out hits. G2's comp definitely epitomizes that. And Hunter Thief's gonna be taking a timeout here from six. Game has a lot more evidence for the Haunts on getting Azure. shot. Ace. Bro, I, something, something's different, I swear, man. Has been what was the region, though? What, was it Pacific last, last week? Where, like, people were, it was like landing in front of people and they were mistiming shooting it. That was mental. I swear it was. I swear it was. It was EMEA. Been in Americas, too. Maybe it's just all over the place. Yeah, Maybe the timing just got accidentally changed. They've won one other game one since. Match. But it was uh, it a BO1. Yeah, it was, it was a BO1. Scars? Scars, a team in Red Bull home ground. Who and if you haven't heard yeah, of I wonder them, if they changed the, right the now, timing the accidentally. to last ranked team in Japan Challengers. Ooh. That's the best win, the only win that they have gotten since taking down Furia. And obviously, G2, they've been close, right? They, 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 they won a map of finds against Sentinels. But it has been tough for them. They change Viper accidentally. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm kind of on the train that maybe anything can happen. It's actually a tech pause. That's fun. Uh, Ed Boy, thank you so much pauses. with the Prime. Ed Boy Famously. 2. Yeah. Was Ed Boy already we taken? No pause. Or maybe it's his second account. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the Prime. Welcome into the Slug Club. Thank Sorry, you. Thank you. Know. you. you just remind, I, I just love that great idea. Away. No one's ever thought of that. Yeah, my bad. Okay. I'll stop doing it. Well, you know, the nice thing is, Hunter Thieves, you have so much more time to chat to each other. You know, ask ask some... Uh, it's just a case of having awkward timing, people not being, to trying to do that, people but, not know, being used get, to it. Get, get Dude, Fate's been in for a long time, get though. I get that it wasn't... Sure. I get that sure. it wasn't meta for, like, uh, I guess a, a whole year, <laughs> almost. Oh, okay. Most of the maps of it got taken out, but... still know that, like, people still play in ranked. There was way too many people mistiming the shot on it. Shouldn't be too long. I think it's just one player who crashed out. Why would you out. say that? Why would you say that, Mimi? There shouldn't be it's two. Only one player. Cool. See, I see. I, I just get nervous. I default get nervous. on Lotus only now, though. Like you look that, at last oh, year; it was pretty much cool. a half and half. Well, well, we people playing more. Uh, uh, people playing more Sky last year than 
this some year. teams kind of early this year run it. Uh, Sentinels, for example, was kind of taking their time with this, but they played a different variation. This is something new for G2. Yeah, I mean, the, the solo Yoru is definitely surprising. I think a lot of times people will try to pair Yoru with another dive agent to make so much chaos on site that you can mask those teleports a little bit. I think what G2 are using instead is the double flashes to combo. Okay, very nice and so was there to actually a timeout before this? I, can't, I didn't even know. Clone, so I can't even remember. Uh, either way, money's really, really low. What's my... Is supported a lot Why is it messing on up side? Um, okay. Thankfully, let's just a quick pause. Let's see if we have more here. of a shutdown of actual choke points here. And for 100 Thieves, this is a pretty critical round there. Uh, in Money's terms of G2, edge, got some, got some good ults kind of close. Yoru ult is he almost a uh, right round. Outskirts of that ninth over towards B long. Don't believe he was scouted out. Need to aim train of epic pen do it's messing up a little bit. KO knife. We, we just saw one that was thrown right about there for full info on long, but you can also throw one that hits both Octagon and Hookah if you want to go for a split like this and save a little bit of your oh, info for thing. info. Less precise information, and but if it doesn't see anything very yeah, effective. kind of just gun, disrespected this like Viper that, smoke the here, and they get and you still have who could control. And Valent yeah. doesn't so want to go the behind the smoke, so just trying to see if they want to retake this like and create the, the pressure. Doesn't want them to clear this question mark. Knife over towards short. It might take the TP, we'll see. Yeah, they're trying to create a lot of pressure here. Bit of pressure, Does it cause a rotate? Play, no. And they hold on to hookah control. And we TP in. And yeah, here comes the hit. Wall up. Do they have enough stall? That is the question. Well, we got one Viper Molly. Shouldn't be able to get out of this, really. Cryo's all the way back from behind. And he has the ult the second they drop here. Yeah, they did a lot better. He can unleash that ult. And here comes the flood off of it, off the backside. But yeah, that's a huge kill. With well, that kill, it's done. Don't need to swing that, my guy. Damn, that was close. Holy hell. So there's a couple of things. So this wall like this that goes through showers is great, but it does mean that there's a little cubby in uh, hookah, which kind of en enabled the first kill, which I think I would sacrifice against a Yoru to just do a title wall. Um... Man, this got close. We, we, they kind of overheated in Hooker a little bit here. Like after this kill, you gotta you gotta relax there. Rely on your guys on site. Okay, G2 now. I mean, everyone's got low money. Everyone's got low money. He decided to go aggro over this one. This was kind of nice, though. Smoke, smoke and Molly here. Yeah, smoke, smoke, mosh pit, and push close with the official. Like, they don't get it back, but... They're pretty nice. Especially when you can't reliably take control over and yeah, if 100 fees win this round, I mean, they're pretty much getting to 12, because the money is right. Icy's gonna get asked to do a lot, yet again. Flash towards front sight. Your ult will clear out. Lucio is yeah, your ult. Oh, this guy is so wrecked. Nicely done from Cryo. Yeah, they just didn't see him. Still no plant down. Wait, what? Asuna picks up another. They're struggling to win out on this one, but you do get a critical kill. That's Asuna taken care of. And now back into a 2v3. 45 seconds. Yeah, and they've been stopping the plants. This guy probably shouldn't go any further than this. They're stuck over on short. There you have it. The wall up. They have a chance to make it on out, but look who's awaiting them over towards B. Because of Bang's position. Bang does not have the gun for this position. He hears them, so he goes closer, though. That is an absolute blessing. Yeah. They had no idea he just reactively pushed. Huge 1v2. Huge. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good Feiji to here. Takes the TP over the top. Man, that was a nice... I've been nice so haunt. impressed with EU's utility throughout this match. It seems like every time he's throwing a haunt, they're getting value. And they don't have the same tools that G2 has to combo. Sure, you can throw a dizzy haunt, but most of the time those pieces of util are getting invested alone. And still, he's picking these great timings to get value off the spam. It's timings where no one can be shooting it, really, right there. It's while planters, uh, players trying to plant the spike. And on defense, he was throwing it a lot as players were diving into the site. So that no one's looking behind them to spam that through we got a lot of first kills anchoring over towards b that way what's their buy like in terms of g2, g2 walk up double stinger triple sheriff 
and he's pushed off the line, just a stinger in his hands. G2 might try to invest some ult here and win this round. Nightfall oh. and the null command. I have HP. Austin whoa, 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 whoa. Holy. I mean, he was isolated. More space taken towards Octagon. I mean, if, if G2 can't push Bang out of this position, they're not getting into the site. That's a good amount of info, though. Yeah, honestly, though, the, the jaw here is huge. Like, he wins he wins this jaw out, and he can stop them from going here. So it is, like, risk-reward on this, and he does have the better gun. So gotta have the confidence. Hello, Cooper. How we doing, mate? Walking back How's the rank Dana, grind going? How many games do we have for today? That player in U-Haul, Cryo, has been lights out this game. 40 seconds. Boostio has All full four util contacted. to enable Cryo. Cryo has a molly to if he Cryo's wants to fall back. Spots the first. Damage taken from the sheriff. Lovely flash. Excellent support out of Boostio. 30 seconds. Cryo will continue to fight, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's the right timing to take yeah, him down. TP goes in once they hit the TP. Do they want a TP? Very nice, nicely handled. Supported. 400 thieves. Excellent stuff. Match point. Yeah, I'm just. I've like some of the stuff that G2 does. I'm just I'm not sure this comp works against good teams. I just think it's so hard to get into sights on attack. Rushing their fights, I don't feel when they know they have the opportunity to stall out and play off of their, their utility. Instead, waiting for the swing to come in from Austin to fly through showers with the double satchels. It is always well coordinated on these fights to deny the spike being planted. And that was lacking for so long with this team. You think of old 100 Thieves, right? They get a man advantage situation, they bunker down, they play way too safe, they play spared. And now with this roster, it, it honestly reminds me a little bit of Sentinels with that. Yeah, fight, I think I agree with that, Death. Behind every piece of utility when they have an advantage they're not afraid to lose it g2 now going to be the ones to call a timeout look they've got some big ults here fade ko viper and they've got to buy but they need and, and just not a fan of the here. solo as desp said i'm just not a fan like of the solo yoru on this map not found an answer to because usually i would say look if you're just getting util denied on the plant over on a Ray's needs to dive for back site control but they don't have that tool yeah they've maybe got a nightfall so they could get a little bit more creative with the okay, i just think it gets better with a raise here is a very, at least then you can hit risky. b very hard to support that effectively and that's why almost always you'll see shorter tps into truck into u-haul as opposed to going all the way okay five chances seven. to end this the what's the next really map split is, is there map pick though so we saw that get punished in the last round because everyone in main gets stopped um. yeah they, they could change their smoke patterns because they've been hello boasties really how are them you agree well oh, there we the go i'm fine through on the fight but that assumes the 100 thieves isn't fighting you before that because right now asana up on truck is ready to take a very early line down short map point 100 thieves <sighs> 100 Thieves very stacked over towards the A site, but now they can move EU back over here with the Viper Orb up in Hookah as well. It's very hard to take sand control because they gotta use some ults on this one. They could, they can definitely win this area. round. Well, then Rays could just throw paint shells through that space with a Molly combo with the, the decay. Rotate the comes in. We might see a fade ult for a fade ult. So I mean, this could be a little short short bit meth mental. Asana doesn't away. really want to use his ult because it's gonna get cancelled out insta. Fade Haunt ready to come over the top. A rocket for Asuna. Yeah. A swing out from Cryo. This is really tough to break through. Does he get anything top of truck? They need time and watch the teleport. They're going to nightfall TP in the backside. <laughs> is it committed in time? Can they get something Honestly, for it? There he goes. I think you just let him take this round. Do a bit of damage. Save all your ults. Cryo is taken care of. That's a great start for G2. But now on the flank, a Viper creeping forward. Bang to try and pull this round back into control. Looks up on short, anticipates a player there, and Bustio finds one on the other edge of the pit. Two on four now, as 100 Thieves move back into the space. Wing hmm. on. Bustio looking forward, but Leap takes him down. <laughs> I'm saying not, not, not the worst attempt. Okay, nicely done from G2, and it was just one of those where we got to get around. We've got so many ults. Let's just, let's just ult dump. I mean, it was literally three of them, right? Yeah, and you're not going to get a TP like that unless you're Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to repeat this. I say hard to repeat this. It's impossible to repeat this until we get the ults. It's a great timeout call. Josh RT comes in with a plan. And that's the first time we've seen G2 really fighting for that space in showers. For the most part, it's been these strong side takes that haven't been working. But can you do it again when you don't have the Nightfall? Because now you've got to be comboing that with just flashes going into the backside. 100 Thieves, bad buy for them this time around. 
Although some ults to dip into if things get close. Yeah, Austin is rocket. Four chances for 100 thieves. Oh, bye. Might just accept this one as well. I say, as uh, we maybe overwhelm this guy. Oh, we nicely done from Trent. That's a different round if he uh, if he goes down earlier here. Still might be done on this round. We'll see. Into space towards short. I like this though. Yeah. Does he want to push all the way? It's a hard decision on this one. This may come in faster than expected, but I think G2 are going to turn around because players could have pushed. Valen with a kill gets his ult. They're ready for it. If he kills Jonapi, he has ult, but he saw needs shoulder. to win this fight. I just saw him. And it's going to be tough. A Viper wall in front of him, Jonah holding with support. And now this round becomes all the more difficult. 100 Thieves, no util to work with. Just walking into sight, Bustio. What a shot to find. Balance down. Leaf swinging into the front. Reposition as well, so they just saw him close here. Maybe he has a timing to get a kill. Uh, it's nice positioning from Leaf. on impossible. <laughs> hey, this is a good attempt. All right, three chances, but they. I'm not saying they let them get these, but they were they were at least open to the fact of letting them use all their ults, and they saved all their ults for this. So let's see what they got, because this is the round that they kind of waited for a little bit. So now G2 have unlocked a little bit more of the playbook, anticipating more of these ideas, but 100 Thieves have so much to work with now. And this is a good timeout. Good timeout. Been saving for this, this round. Is the round to close out if you're yeah. I feel like 100 Thieves, if they're coming into this one, the way they've gotten a... a well, the two rounds were very different, but I think the last round was a little bit less accurate to how the next ones are going to run. Just because it was a bad buy, 100 Thieves went for the very aggressive look. Sure. But I think they should hold on to Shower's control a little more heavily, right? The the Yoru TP pathing, it's very important that he gets control <laughs> in Shower's to send that Maybe. one out on a line we'll where it's not going to be seen, not going to be broken. Dude, any Viper enough, and if 100 Thieves I'm in for it. Space, Again, I just, wanna, right, I just want this denial. agent to you just be out of the meta. To fight around the extremity teleport lanes as opposed to fighting right down so, the center of the map. Any kind of nerf, so any idea that you G2 have for a Viper nerf, I'm just in for. All. You don't even need to be like, what do you think of this? Just, yeah, I'm in for it. Nothing's too harsh. Just get rid of now. it. What has the Order this agent. Duo come up with in that timeout? What's the call to close this game? Why do I want them out of the meta? Boosted. Bro, the game will be the so good once Viper is out of the meta. You have no idea how sick this game is going to be once once we get rid of this agent. It'll be so sick. Everyone's going to have completely different ideas of how the game should be played. It will be like Sky. What happened with Sky? Just two times. Great tools to clear this. What on earth is this Viper wall that they threw? Is that just a one? The, the amount of like. The amount of uh, different comps we saw after Sky was pretty cool. We're gonna, we're just, it's going to just be that all over again. Everyone's going to have a different theory on how each map, map should be played. People will just replace it with a harbor, but then it's not going to be anywhere near as strong on defense. And I mean, honestly, and attack, I guess. So it's going to be so cool. And then you could even see stuff like triple initiator as well, maybe. It's going to be really fun, I'm telling you. The time, the time will come. So, so heavy here. They can scout it out. I mean, I hope With the time will come. Here. I don't know if they'll ever nerf it like as heavy as I want. Way. And the question is, what is the timing on the showstopper? Can we find anything from Keep it. Shut up, man. Okay, no, three chances. Time is low. 100 Thieves have four ults. They're all massive round winning ults. If he activates it at the right time, he can oh. close this map. But it's a rotation yet again, G2. Are they heading back towards B? The Nightfall committed. It's one. Yeah, it's one. And it's a one for one. Yeah, one for one. 20 seconds to get over towards side. There's a bit of a luck and fake pressure over towards A. And they got to get through Viper and he just used the molly over towards... <laughs> yeah. This was nice from 100 Thieves though in terms of like they were, they were chill. Like they were calm. Five chances. They just accepted that two of them were gone. Just make sure they can all save up for this big round. It was good. Um, again, not a big fan of G2's comp. I don't think it works. I, I just think it's playing bind on hard mode. Just a, just a raise instead of the Yoru makes it a lot easier. 